Well, we love featuring artists you should know about on the show. And today we're heading to Billings to chat with singer-songwriter Juliet Angelo. Juliet is best known for her roles in NCIS, Shameless, Malibu Country, and more. And now she's turning to be a singer-songwriter. Tomorrow night in Cody, she's bringing her Patsy Klein tribute show to the colonial, or the, the colonial, or I can't even pronounce it, the venue and lounge, the colonial venue and lounge in Cody, Wyoming. Show starts at 6 o'clock. It's 10 bucks at the door. You don't want to miss it. We're excited to have Juliet back on the show. First, Juliet, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. When was I? I don't remember when I was first on this. I don't remember what that was for. It was a couple months ago, huh? Yeah, it was your uh, pub station gig. Right. Yes. Yeah, you were right. headlining the pub station. How'd it go? Yes. It was great. It was awesome. It was so much fun. I loved it. It was a really good time. Great audience. We had a blast. Yeah, it looked like it was pretty awesome. Well, you've been in Billings now. You've been branching out. You've been doing these shows. Are you getting more comfortable? How are you feeling? Yeah, I've got a great... It's a lot different than last year. Um, I moved here March 1st, and I've got a great summer lined up. I haven't announced everything yet. I've only announced, I think, up until Babcock. So I've got a bunch that we have booked. I'm just waiting for the green light. So it's been really... It's been really exciting. It's been super fun. I'm traveling quite a bit and doing some mostly focusing on ticketed shows and, um, yeah, just the Patsy Klein show and then my own original music and just kind of combining the two of those things and mixing it up. So it's been great. Yeah. I love Montana. It's fun here. It's very different, but it's nice. <laughs> yeah, a little different than... New York and California, what you're used <laughs> yeah. to. It's the colonial yeah, venue pleasure. and lounge. I, I couldn't pronounce that. I could, that word threw me for a second. I think it's colonial. I don't actually know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not ne sure. Neither one of us know. Have, have you been to Cody yet? <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't been to Cody. I haven't played in Wyoming yet, so this will be great. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to book, I think, trying to book. I think Sheridan, too, or just a couple other places. But, um, yeah, I haven't played there yet. I've driven through Cody, or I've driven through Wyoming when I was moving from New Mexico, but I haven't played there yet. Yeah. Well, well, that's good. Fun. At least you've been here. So that, that that's good. You, now, now, you're gonna, now she's going to have to stop tomorrow night in Cody. Uh, yeah, the Colonial Venue and Cigar Lounge is at 1328 Beck Avenue yep. in Cody. It is. Bring your cigars. So, yeah, can you actually smoke in there i think so yeah there's a whole section for it a cigar lounge it says guests can yes. relax in their lounge and enjoy a cigar and cocktail you know it really it, i think it matches the the energy well yeah <laughs> that's show. gonna be perfect for <laughs> the i know it does. Show. it should be great it's it's our last show was in butte and it was fantastic it was at the Covalite, so I'm sure this one will be great as well. I've never played in a cigar lounge, so no. that sounds yeah, it sounds interesting. I don't smoke cigars, but <laughs> if I did, it sounds like a good time. You might be before <laughs> maybe the night's I'll over. Try. <laughs> maybe I'll try one. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, but and yeah, it'll be fun. Doors are at six. It's ten bucks cash. Yeah. And then Julian Nordberg is opening. Yeah, Julian Nordberg is going to be opening the show for you. Yes, I haven't met her. Um, I I I saw her a bit on social media, but um, yeah, she is, she sounds great. So she's going to open at seven, and then I'll get myself on stage around eight o'clock, and it should be over and done with before ten. So you can still go to bed at a decent hour. Well, exactly. <laughs> you have a nice night and ten bucks. I mean, you can't. Yeah, you can't beat it. You, you know? can't beat that at all. Old school. Come on. Well, you <laughs> you came out. You like redid Fields of Tennessee at the end of last year. How's your new oh, yeah, original stuff? Or are we still writing? What's going on? It's okay. I'm. It's not like I didn't. Um, my my friend here in Billings, you know, produced it a little bit, so it's it's still very acoustic, but it sounds better. Um, it's not 
the f- I think I'm probably going to record it one more time one day <laughs> when I can like really get it nice and you know just have some good extra production on it but I haven't been writing much I haven't lived out that music yet so hopefully by the end of this year or next year I'll feel like she lived how she was supposed to live that whole record but um yeah I did re-record it and it's definitely better than the the first time I did it yeah it sounds way better no I know it really does (laughs) so it's you know it's baby steps and then I'll probably do it one more time and third time's the charm and then that'll be like the final deal to Tennessee but yeah, I have a couple shows where I'm going to be playing my originals. The Patsy Klein show has just been doing so well. And it's such an easy, um, it pulls an audience super easily. Oh, yeah. So I really enjoy doing it because, and it's just me. It's all, there's no band. I do it all solo. It's really easy to travel with. It's just me and a guitar. So not a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Yeah, but um, that's been really fun, and I, I don't know. People just love it, and I weasel a couple originals in there, so it all works out in the end. <laughs> but I just love doing it. It's really such a good time. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, and then we have it at the Babcock Theater here yeah. in Billings, March 23rd. So yeah, a couple times. Got a lot see going Juliet. on. Uh, go and check her out. She's at Juliet Angelo dot com. She's on Facebook, Instagram, and tomorrow night she's going to be in Cody and then like she said March 23rd at the Babcock where was this Carol Welch's art show oh Roots Cafe she's awesome was that in Billings it's, then yeah it's uh, Roots Roots Cafe in Billings and they, they highlight an artist for a couple months and she is the resident artist right now okay yeah I checked yeah, out her painting awesome. she's got great stuff Oh, she's amazing. She's my, she basically adopted me. <laughs> she's, she's the best. Well, and she lives in but, Huntley? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool place. It's a garden store, and they have live music there sometimes, and they have a cafe. It's very geared towards art and supporting local artists. Um, but, yeah, Carol is basically my family at this point. So we oh, had a really cool. good time. Yeah, it was super fun. I draw creepy art. I'm not allowed to do stuff like that. They won't let me in. (laughs) (laughs) They see your tattoos. That's that's, that's, like, I don't know about her. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Well, you had a post that you said you're looking for bookings, private parties. You could get Juliet at a private party? Oh, yeah, I do. I was doing some birthday parties and stuff. It was super fun. It's a good way to, like, not burn out. Um... I like having a ticketed event and then doing something that's more private just because it's good for, you know, just to focus on one thing that's public so yeah. I don't have so much going on. But, yeah, I did I did some private events, and, um, yeah, I love doing those. I haven't played a wedding. I really want to play a wedding. They just book so far in advance. Yeah. I need, like, a shotgun wedding. Like, I need somebody who's just going to get married real quick. <laughs> <laughs> We need but, you Saturday. Yeah. We're getting married. Okay. <laughs> that okay. works. We have we have some house but, parties here. We, we might have to have you come play one. Yeah, time. I would. I love doing stuff like that. It's way less stressful, too, because it's a controlled environment. Yeah. And, you, you know, you pretty much know who's going to be there as opposed to playing. Like, I used to play bars and stuff, and you never know who's going to stumble in the door. It's not as fun. Well, in the house shows, <laughs> everyone's there to see you. So that's kind of cool, yeah. too. That would be fun. I'd love to do something like that. There's a lot of options, you know. Yeah, well, she's up for it. So go go and check her out, uh, either her website, Juliet-Angelo.com, or she's on Facebook and Instagram. On your Instagram, I was a little worried, Juliet. You're, you're shooting a gun in one. You're holding a big knife in the next one. I was like, boy, she's out to get you. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Man. I didn't realize posting those pictures in succession was probably not the best <laughs> idea. I was like, geez, watch out. <laughs> Hopefully she's not after a guy or something. What's going on? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was a, that was a, I liked that gun. That was a good time. Well, I was wondering, was that your first go around at, at, at shooting? Uh, it was my second. 
It was okay. the first time it counted, though. The first the first time I shot was in New Mexico, and it was like one time. I only shot like twice, I think. This this time it was. Yeah, we had we did some real shooting. I yeah, was you way did. too happy. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed myself way too much. <laughs> well, yeah, you got a big like assault rifle or whatever that was. <laughs> She's ready. What was that? I was, yeah. A- AK forty seven. Yeah, what it I was, was. going to say it looked kind of like an AK or or something. Yep. And then, what were you making? I mean, were you cutting a turkey? I mean, you had the, like a huge butcher knife. It's a great. I don't shot even of think you. I was using the knife. I don't think I was using the knife. I think it was just for the photo. I was probably making tea. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to put on the apron. I don't remember what that was for. Because the apron says I have a knife. If you read it, yeah. So it just it was part of the. I don't know. I, it felt like I needed to hold one in order to get the point across. Yeah, well, hey, got yeah, the point across. Go, go and check out yeah. a picture on her Instagram. <laughs> well, and then yeah. you said your New Year's resolution this year was to get more tattoos. Yes, I already did. Well, and you did. What? That, that's a sweet panther. Who did that? I go to Angry Toad Tattoo here in Billings. Okay. She's awesome. Akiko. Um, she, does, she does a bunch of my art. But she's kind of been my, like, artist since I moved here, which is always so nice when you have somebody that's consistent that you can always go see. But, yeah, that hurt. God, it was right on my shoulder blade. It was painful. I was going to say, that probably was a rough place to put a tattoo. I I didn't think it would be, but it was right, digging right on my shoulder blade for, I think it took, I mean, it didn't take too long. It was like an hour, but time moves really slow. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you felt every inch of that tattoo. Yeah. What, what, what's the significance of it? Because it's got, like, the design on its head. It's pretty cool. I like big cats. That's pretty much it. I have a cheetah on me. Yeah. I want to get a lion, like a lioness. But I just, I've always loved big cats, like big feminine-looking cats. I think they're so pretty. And I had wanted a panther for a while. I just didn't want really deep, dark, black ink. Um, a lot of the panther. I saw are really, you know, they just, they pour so much ink into you and it'll get all bumpy and stuff. So that design was almost a little bit more tribal and that's why I really liked it. Yeah. It's a little bit more say, dainty. Got, uh, yeah. There's much tribal on the Panther's head. Yeah. And, I'm scared that you're digging through my social media. I don't remember what I post. <laughs> I, I'm digging. We're all digging, Juliet. <laughs> don't dig, don't dig too hard. <laughs> We're stocking you. Well, you, might, you got you more butterflies. I mean, you, you, you're like an animal kingdom. I am. I am an animal kingdom. You're right. Thank you. That that's exactly what I am. <laughs> yeah, she loves all animals. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, I go do. go and check out her Instagram, uh, Juliet Angelo. She's on Facebook. Also, Juliet Angelo dot com is her website. You can see her Saturday night in Cody. Uh, 6 Heck o'clock yeah. for the Patsy Klein show. Well, tell us about the Patsy come. Klein show, Juliet. What what do, you, what do we do? Do we tell stories? Do we go through the songs? What do we do? Um, What do we do? I sit on stage and I, ba- I talk. <laughs> and then I play her music and I play. Um, I also do some like Loretta and Marty Robbins and whatever else that kind of fits with the vibe. I'll do a couple originals, but it's it's very chill, you know. It's not like a big production tribute show because I've I've never really been a fan of those. I feel like they're kind of trying to cosplay as the artist, yeah. which is not something. I'm not. Don't expect me to dress up like Patsy Cline. Like that's not yeah. happening. <laughs> um, but it's very intimate and personal, and her music always meant a lot to me. So it's in honor of her and i'm not trying to sound like her you know it's very i still have my style i'm just covering her songs so it's just it's a it's really a wonderful show we've had such a good time doing it and the fact that i mean we've never i don't think we've ever had under under like 150 people like it's always been a really great audience every single time and Yeah, it's just, I don't know, every time I do it, people just love it. Love it. I've really never had a bad time with it. (laughs) So, um, I just want to keep, I like bringing it to smaller towns, too. And 
like Butte was just awesome, and we've done it in Huntley twice here. And I don't know. I just feel like people appreciate it a lot more. Um, but yeah, it's very simple. It's it's very peaceful. You're not. It's also not to sound you know rude, but older people, it's not that loud, <laughs> so yeah. it doesn't hurt your eardrums. Yeah, because sometimes when you see bands and stuff, they just blow it out of control. And it hurts. <laughs> I can't see shows like that. I'm too sen- I'm like very auditorily sensitive. <laughs> so, but it's very peaceful and quiet, and um, it's fun too. Yeah, it's well, funny. People love I don't know. Nazi Everybody's crime. always laughing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it was. <laughs> we were laughing so hard in Butte, like the audience. It felt like I had a live studio audience again. It was a good time. But yeah, it'll be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, you kind of answered it because I was going to ask. I mean, how did you start doing them? Because you said you don't, sa- you know, you're not trying to mimic Patsy Cline. Are you just a Patsy Cline? Were you a fan? I just love I mean, her. Yeah. I just love her. That's it. Like, all her music fits. I don't know what it is about her. I just connected to her and all her music. I can sing in her original key. And I had this idea when I was living in Nashville. And then it didn't come into fruition in Nashville. And then I moved to Montana, and what do you know, it came into fruition here. And the idea that I had, it just paid off, you know. It was, it was really successful from the first time we did it. Yeah. And, um, you know, and it's, it's for music, and if you have a, a show that's going to draw a lot of people, I mean, that's a success. That's awesome. Oh, for sure. Well, so, and for people to get to it. know you and your original stuff, I mean, it's perfect. Yeah. And everyone loves Patsy, Patsy Klein Klein around Klein here. Fan. Yeah, that's that's the appreciation that, you know, I, I felt people really had here. And Nashville, stuff like that gets lost because there's just so much going on constantly. Um, that here, I found, you know, going to places like Butte where it's not oversaturated with music. If you bring them a good show, they're going to really appreciate it. And I have people traveling to Billings to see the one and at the Babcock and they're coming from Butte. So it's, you know, people are like your ride or die once they, you know, once you put on a good performance. So that's it. I'm just a Patsy Cline fan. I just love her music and love singing it and have always been really connected to it. My favorite was, Elvis, um, but my, I, I just sing Patsy Klein's music. It's just so easy for me to sing. Yeah, well, you can so. see her sing it tomorrow night, the Colonial Venue and Lounge in Cody, uh, 1328 mm-hmm. Beck Avenue, 10 bucks at the door. Doors open at 6 o'clock. The uh, opener, Julianne Norberg, will start at 7 o'clock, and then uh, Juliet will be on stage Come around on. 8 o'clock. Tomorrow night. Yep. So make sure you get there at least before then, but try and get there before seven if you can. Because I imagine, yeah. like Juliet said, it's going to get packed before she gets I to think, stage at eight. I hope so. I hope so. That's the plan. I mean, we haven't had a small show yet anywhere I've brought it. The Colonel, or not the Colonel, the Covalite nearly sold out, and it would have if we hadn't been in negative 30. <laughs> it yeah. was brutal. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's the first time we did the show in Huntley, we had to like last minute um, bring in 20 tables and 50 chairs. And it was just madness. We were so, you know, underprepared for the amount of people that showed up. So I'm curious to see what happens tomorrow. It's been doing great on Facebook. And that's been my that's been my only real promo. So I do Facebook. Well, you, of course. But, you know, leading up to it, I only do Facebook and flyers. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, it well, spreads the word. It, that's good. Yeah. That's, that's positive. It's, it's, you're starting to get good word. feedback. Yeah. It's, and it's, I just, I don't know. I think if people are going to come, they're going to come. You know, you can't really control the outcome. I do the best I can. But at the end of the day, it's you never really know. Um, and that's like part of the fun of it is that I never really know what to expect, but I've also, it doesn't really matter. I'd rather have a smaller, great audience than a really large rowdy one. And I don't know, this show does not attract a rowdy audience. They're always great. It's always a respectful, everybody's just there 
for the love of Patsy Cline. And it's easy to please people like that because <laughs> we're all on the same page, you know. Yeah, so. for sure. Uh, go and check yeah, her out um, tomorrow night in Cody. Hopefully, uh, you'll get here sometime in Sheridan. But the weather's going to be great, so you can drive over to Cody tomorrow and oh, check her out. Oh, right. Right. I, yeah, Sheridan. I should be there in July. I will be I'm almost almost ready to confirm that. So awesome. I should be there in July. Well, that'll be great. These I've pictures to, that uh, Jesse... Up some stuff. Yeah, confirm it and then... Uh, We'll get you. We'll get you here, and we can we can all go see yeah. you coming up here in July. These pictures you took with Jesse Harris, you you look great, oh. Julia. I mean, you look like you're Thank you're you. loving Billings. Yeah, I, I that's my. She's my friend. Um, she also is a great photographer, and yeah, it was. We were at the rim and just did. I needed a couple photos for two shows I haven't announced yet, and we uh, we just did a quick. It was cold but it, we made it work <laughs> I, I maxed out in 30 minutes i was like this is gr- i'm sure they're beautiful i am it's freezing cold we need to stop but um yeah it was super fun i just it's very i feel very comfortable here and it's so different it's just the energy is so different and so much less judgmental oh yeah people are just nice and <laughs> calm and chill you know, it's just a very different vibe. But, um, yeah, we had a good time. And those, I can't even, I can't talk about anything yet. I'm not allowed. So. Okay. But those were for other shows that are not, haven't been announced yet. More to come. Go and follow more to her. Come. Keep your eye yeah. on her because she has a bunch more shows that she's going to announce here in the next couple months. And hopefully she will be in our neck of the woods in July. But go and see her tomorrow night. You can drive over to Cody. The weather's going to be great. The Colonial Venue, uh, tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, doors open, 1328 Back Avenue in Cody, 10 bucks. Go and support her, juliet-angelo.com. Thank you. Juliet, thanks so Thank much for you. coming on. Thanks for having me. I'm sure we'll connect a little bit closer to summertime. Yeah. And um, I'll keep you in the loop. Exactly. <laughs> about everything. Keep me in the but loop for sure. Thank you so sure. much for having me. Yeah, this no problem. So Safe fun. travels. Enjoy your, your night tomorrow in Thank Cody. you. Thank you. I'm sure it'll be awesome. It is going to be awesome. Go check her out tomorrow night Thank and you. Cody. Here's one of her originals. Ain't the whiskey. It's Juliet Angelo. Oh. 96.5.